but I still think it's likely to be a competitive election, I think, for several reasons. Well, just general history. Republicans have been running things for a long time, and you accumulate some enemies. And Rick Perry is a terrific campaigner, but sometimes makes real bonehead moves as governor that alienate people who ought to be for him. Uh, like, I, I don't think he will carry his home county again. And that ain't anything new. Chris Bell beat him in Haskell County, as did John Sharp. Uh, to know the governor is not necessarily to love him. Uh, he's not running a big volunteer operation down the street supporting his uh, campaign. He's going to run largely an air war. But he's a tremendous media candidate. But he's got some chinks. Uh, and White has an opportunity to exploit those. First, I think because of who he is personally. He doesn't look like a very energetic, athletic guy, but he has a very high level a physical stamina that's terrifically important in a state like this where you just have to campaign nonstop if you're in an outsider position like Mr. White. He's got to work 100 hours a week. And he's personally wealthy, doesn't have to worry about a day job. His family's all on board and campaigning enthusiastically for him. And he has, again, a terrific work ethic, and he's going to need it <laughs> because he's going to have to win this in a non-air war campaign where he might hope to come close to keeping the governor from running away with that segment. But that means a hell of a lot of work trying to build some sort of grassroots base across a mega state. He benefited by running all last year under the kind of you know, pseudo Senate campaign that, of course, morphed at the critical moment into the governor campaign. But he did have those bumper stickers that were uh, capable of easily switching. It was Bill White for Texas, not Bill White for Senate. Uh, so he's been running for over a year. And he's made some headway, but he's still got a hell of a lot, a long way to go. Headway, though, in this kind of work that he's doing is not measurable in polls. What White's trying to work on are a relatively small number of opinion leaders who talk to other people in their communities. That is not very important in big cities, but it is important in smaller communities. You've just simply got to get out there around Texas and meet people and have your wife show up every now and then, your kids, and personalize politics some. Because if this is just a race in Texas between Republicans and Democrats, how can Democrats win that in this environment? Yes, voters tell us by about equal proportions that they're Democrats or Republicans are independents, but the Republicans are more likely to vote, and the self-described independents are more likely, with no other knowledge, to vote for the Republican than the Democrat in this state. So White's got a lot of work cut out for him. But I think because of his personal qualities, health, wealth, diligence, he's got a shot. He's also got a shot because he, I think, can raise enough money to be competitive, semi-competitive, in the air war, at least to put up as many ads as the governor. Uh, Bill White's never run in a partisan election before. He was elected in a tough mayor's election in Houston, but it was an officially nonpartisan election. He's going to have to make major adaptations. But he has a seasoned campaign team. He's good at raising money. Uh, I just got an invitation to his fundraiser uh, list in Houston, one of his fundraisers in Houston a couple of days ago. They wasted a stamp on me. I'm too stingy to contribute to political campaigns. But I read the list, and it looked to be like there's about two million bucks there, maybe three. Uh, that's a pretty good start. Because you figure at this poker table, 25 million buy-in going to the general election. And you'd like to have 30 or even 35 million. Uh, White can probably raise that money. He carried over some for the spring. When he ran for mayor of Houston, he put $2.2 million of his personal money after taxes and no recovery possible into his mayor's race. I, we don't know what his financial situation is today. That may become an issue if Perry and the media can press it. But my guess is he's still got a few million he could invest. So he, he won't run out of money, which is always a problem uh, for candidates in mega states where you can't go dark down the stretch and have much of a chance of winning. So I think the money will likely be there. Uh, he'll probably pick up some of the people that broke with the governor in 2009 and publicly supported Senator Hutchison. They ain't got much to lose by uh, sticking with uh, an anti-governor candidate. I mean, they've already angered the governor deeply, and they're pretty much toast if he's going to be running things in 2011 if they've got business in Austin. Uh, and White's being around rich people the last 20 years of his life has smoothed a lot of them. And I think he has a pretty good chance of peeling off some normally Republican money and a few Republicans uh, publicly to support his candidacy. 
but he's got to thread the eye of a needle because he's got so many of these different challenges. He's got to stay out there on the trail every day, every week. He's got to raise money. He's got to try to figure out a campaign strategy against someone who has never lost a statewide race or any race in Texas. That's a terrific winning streak that Rick Perry's compiled. Even George W. Bush lost his first race back in 1982, I guess. And again, while Perry occasionally makes significant missteps in office, he's generally avoided them when he's a candidate for public office. Uh, that doesn't mean he's perfect, and he's not paid much attention to the general election since he ran against John Sharp. Uh, and that's been quite a while ago. Uh, and some of the tactics that he has used successfully against Tony Sanchez or Senator Hutchison of caricaturing them probably won't work as well against White. Uh, but we'll find out. I mean, that's what campaigns are about, you know, like horse races. We, we can tout them and put odds on them. But ultimately, they turn on many things that are unknowable. But I think what is knowable is Bill White personally, a hardworking, smart candidate, likely to be quite well-funded, running into a wind, a pretty strong wind in 2010. 